On both the Ravenel and Don Holt bridges, nothing new. Gridlock, though, isn't the only problem. The number of accidents are going up, averaging a few every week. News 2's Margaret Chadbourne has more on how bridge backups and collisions are affecting drivers trying to get around this Charleston area. Crashes that stall traffic and shut down lanes for hours on the Ravenel and the Donhold bridges, well, they're increasingly common. In fact, a new study shows that collisions have more than doubled since 2011. With unpredictable traffic, Natalie Phillips decided on a major lifestyle change just to get around Charleston each day. I wasn't able to cook dinner. We, we were eating a lot of fast food. She says it became too hard to manage her commute and the demands of being a single parent. I was spending two hours in the car every day, uh, so now, uh, fortunately enough, I've, I've been able to work from home. Traffic data collected by the Office of Safety and Justice Programs shows wrecks have more than doubled on the Ravenel and Donhold bridges since 2011, and injuries have nearly tripled. And with all the wrecks that we've had on the bridges, it's just been really difficult to find ahead. I mean, when one bridge shuts down, the entire city gets backed up. Police say drivers need to stay focused on the roads. You have to be aware of changing conditions on the roadway, so paying attention to, your, to what's going on in front of you instead of your phone or anything else going on is key to, to safe driving. Tow truck driver Marty Rodenberg says stop. drivers cause problems for crews working to clear a wreck if they are not quick to move over especially when a path is needed for vehicles flashing emergency lights. People won't pull over and they won't give you any room. 526 is the worst spot in Charleston for a tow truck driver. And the Ravenel Bridge is just scary up there. When it comes to traffic on the Ravenel and the Donhold Bridges, well, there's no way around it. You're stuck. In Mount Pleasant, Margaret Chadbourne, News 2.